Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorials, we are going to dive deep into ways in which we can leverage the power of PyQGIS outside of QGIS for automation. Now think about the situation where you have a folder with multiple shape files you want to convert from the shape file format to a different format. Let's say KML or CSV or GeoPackage. Right, how do you do that? Do you have to open QGIS and manually convert all of them one by one? Or do you want to write a script that automates the process for you? Another example might be you have a shape file or you have a folder where vertically a vector shape file is sent to you and you would want um, a summary of what the content of the shape file is. So let's say um, you want to calculate the areas of one point in the vector in, in your vector layer to another or you want to calculate the area or the parameter or whatever right do you want to manually do it with QGIS or would you want to create a script that does it for you automatically right so this series this new series is going to dive into the world of PyQGIS that is using Python with QGIS now there is a catch Python only recognizes QGIS functions inside QGIS so if you open, as we have our QGIS um, software open, when we go to plugins and then we go to Python console, we can use Python in QGIS. In order to, in, in order to be able to use Python outside QGIS, we will have to set up our system in order to, for Python to recognize QGIS outside of QGIS. So that's what this tutorial is going to be about. I'm going to focus on setting up on Windows. Uh, there will be a link down below where it takes you, if you are a Linux user or a, a Mac user, you can follow the tutorials and then you'll be able to set it up on your um, PC. But for these tutorials, the main focus is it's going to be for Windows users. Hopefully by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to get everything up and running. So let's get into it. Now, the first step will be to install QGIS if you don't have QGIS installed, obviously. If you want to install QGIS, the best method, the best method and the, the method I would recommend you do is to download QGIS on um, the QGIS official website. So we go to uh, GI, QGIS official website and then the second link, which is the download QGIS, we click on it. And from there, you can download QGIS. And the next step, is to go to your CDEX, you go to the program directory, you go to the QGIS. So I have QGIS 3.22 version. Your version might be different. So whatever your version is, you click on that particular folder, you click on the apps folder, and then I have Python 3.9 installed. So you might have a different Python version, but whatever the version is, you, you, click, you double click on the Python version, and then you'll be brought to this particular um, window right so now when you see this python executable file double copy copy it we are going to duplicate it so we copy and then we paste it right it will tell it to continue and you do that and after you paste it you have to then change the name of the python executable file from Python to Python 3 QGIS. So you can do it. You can name it with whichever, um, whatever name that you want, right? So I have named it Python 3 QGIS. That way, it's sort of different. It tells the Python in your system to differentiate the normal Python from the one you'll be using for your QGIS development, right? So that's the second step in our, in, in, in our process. In the next step, we will be assessing our environment variables. So in our lower left button, we have our search bar here. So in our search bar, we are going to search for environment. And then we have the, the first option, which is the edit your system environment. We double click that. And then um, we click on environment variables. And then we have our environment variables. So from this point on, you have to make sure you have administrative privileges, which if it's your own 
laptop you're using, then obviously you have the administrative privileges. But if you are using um, your work laptop or your work desktop, it might things might get a little bit tricky here. But you try and follow along if um, and see if you can achieve the end results. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to update our path variable, right? So in our user variable, yes, in our user variable, we are going to locate the path, our path variable, right? So in our path variable, we are going to click on edit to edit. So we'll have a, a new pop-up menu and in our new pop-up menu, we are going to click on new and the new, we are going to when you click on new, we are going to paste the path to the Python executable we just named. We just renamed. So here, as you can see, I have mine as um, Python 3 QGIS. So that's the, the 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 path to that particular executable. So you are making it known to your system that this is where the Python executable is in my in my system. Right? Good. So after you've done that, you click OK. The next thing we have to set up is our Python path. So in your case, you might not have this already set up, right? You, you might not have this particular path already set up. So you click on new to create a new variable. So in a variable name, you are going to type Python, Python path, right? And in our variable value, we are going to paste this part in our variable value. So in your case, the QGIS version might be different, right? And also, this must be might be different. So yours might just be QGIS instead of QGIS LTR. So these are the paths that you have to copy. Each part is separated by a colon. Each part is, should be separated by a colon. There's colon. The sign, right? So then you paste the the next one. And then you have your colon, and then you paste the next one, and you have your colon. So you go through them and then you paste them. So I'll down the, the description below, I'll have this this path um, pasted there with the parts that you have to keep notice if you want to change highlighted for you. So the, the, the path that might be different for you in your case will be highlighted. Good. Um, so after you've done for all the path, you click OK. I wouldn't do that because I already have the path here, right? I already have the path here like this. So there's no need for me to, to, to create a new Python path anymore. After you've done, you've created, you've added um, your, Py your Python executable to your path variable and you've created your new Python path, all you have to do is just OK to save it in your um, in your system so if you want to know that what we've done is, is, is correct the next thing we want to do is type it in our command prompt right so again in our search search bar we are going to type command prompt and then so we have command prompt and then if you want to know that what we've done is correct we'll type python we'll type the name of the executable so that will be python 3 in my, in my case it's going to be python 3 qgis and then and if you don't get any error it means you are correct so right now if we type from qgis.call import all sorry i made a mistake instead of import i said import good and now there is no error so it means that that we have successfully set up QGIS in our system variable. So everywhere on your system, your, your, your Python, your global Python now acknowledges QGIS and QGIS functionality. And with that, we'll get into um, the, the next couple of tutorials is going to be about how to utilize um, the power of QGIS to um, either change QGIS itself or use it in your own projects to sort of enhance whatever geospatial analysis you are doing. And so thank you for tuning in and see you next time. Bye.